Hi, this is Joe Golem, and today we are going to do our first Visual Basic program. And the good thing is, no coding is needed. So let's get into our Visual Basic application and learn how to do it. Okay, I have Visual Studio up on the screen, and I am at the start page. And I have two options available to me. I can go to the menu bar and go to File, New Project or I can just click on the link on the start page new project I'm going to pick new project on the start page and we come in and we see the new project window with different templates that have been installed and I'm going to choose the Visual Basic Windows desktop environment and this will be a Windows form application now as I said in an earlier video we can back level our .NET framework or uh, make it current. This would be the current one available right now in .NET framework at the time of the recording. But I'll make this at a .NET framework version 4, which would be compatible with those who are using Visual Studio 2010. Also, the .NET framework 4 is found on many uh, people's computers. And therefore, if we were to share this program, they would not require to have a updated framework to run the program. Okay, we've got Windows Form application highlighted. We've got our framework set for our target framework, and we're going to give it a project name. And this first project we're going to call Welcome to VB. Now, the important thing to remember is the project name should not have any spaces in it. So it's just Welcome to VB. And I'm going to click OK. And we'll come into Visual Studio's Windows Designer. And we're ready to begin our project. Uh, first thing that I always do is come over to the Solution Explorer. And I highlight the form that I'm going to be working with in the Solution Explorer. And I rename it from Form 1, which is the default. This is a good practice to get into. So uh, right click and come down to Rename. And I'm going to change the name to welcome form.vb. At that point, I'm going to go over to my designer and I'm going to start modifying my form. One of the things we want to do is get some certain defaults set. First of all, I want to confirm by scrolling up on the properties window that my name, in fact, has changed to Windows Form which it has. Then the next thing I normally do is go down to the text property. I scroll down to the text property and the text property is the caption title area of the form itself. So I'm going to change it from form 1 to welcome to VB. Uh, I think I'll say visual basic. And I use sentence structure uh, on this. So uh, it'd be uh, not sentence structure, I'm sorry. We're using a book title uh, approach to titling the uh, text of the form. So we began the keywords in uppercase. The next thing I want to do when I start a form after I get the text done is I want to set the font. Uh, the default font that Microsoft recommends is the Seago UI 9.5. So I come over to font, click on the ellipsis, and it brings up my font dialog. I come over to the font, I'm just typing in S real quick, gets me to Seago UI. I want regular point and nine points on it. So I'm going to fonts, Seago UI, regular font style, nine point. This is the recommended default for all Windows forms for Microsoft. After I've done that, you'll notice the form itself popped a little bit in resizing. And then the next thing I go to is the size uh, option. And so I scroll down to the properties of the size of the form. And most projects I started out with a uh, widescreen uh, 16 by 9 type of layout. So I use 640 by 360. This allows an easy starting point to change things. So I've changed my size, and we can also hit the uh, the arrow over here, or 
hit on the uh, little plus icon to see the individual settings. I've got the width 640 by 360. And you'll notice now my form itself is now in a nice widescreen looking environment. So we've got our form cha name changed at this point. We want to uh, then uh, make certain we've got our text done. Now our font, now our size. Now the next thing that I look at is where I want this to start when I begin the program. Uh, start location is one of the ones we can set. Here's start position. On the, this one I override sometimes for programs and for today we'll override it to go with the center screen when it starts up. So I've got start position center screen. I've got my size 640 by 360. I've got my text caption area is welcome to Visual Basic. And uh, next thing that I want to do for this particular project is I want to change the back color. Normally we want to leave the back color alone unless there's a special reason. And today we do have a special reason. Microsoft has done a lot of research in this area for people with uh, visually uh, challenged uh, difficulties. And uh, these are the settings that they have recommended for us to use. Uh, only uh, on special needs do we override some of those settings. In this case, the back color for this application, I will override. So I'm going to click on that, and then we'll see a drop-down area, and I'm going to click on that. And you'll see that I have system colors available to me. I have web colors and custom colors. I'm going to go to the web colors real quickly and slide down to get the color sky blue. As I come on down... We'll start to see some of the blues, and there is sky blue. And I'm going to pick sky blue for this application. Now you'll see my back color, my whole form is now sky blue. So we've got our form basically done at this point. I've got my text set. I've got my back color, my size, my form. Now one of the things I did is I keyed in the form size 640 by 360 to get started. But we can also use what's called the sizing handles. If I want to adjust the form size. So I can grab the size and handles and drag it and move it around. Now, good practice is to save early, save often. So I'm going to go up to the save button and save all. And we're greeted by a name and the name is fine. And I'm going to put it in this case in the Visual Studio 2013 projects folder. You can change this to anything you like. You can browse to go to a certain location. And I'll have the solution name also, Welcome to VB. And it will create a directory for the solution. And this is exactly what I want. And I'm going to hit Save. Okay, we've got the form saved. Now let's begin the process of actually putting something on that form. And so we're going to put uh, the controls of a label and a picture box on our form. So let's go to the toolbox, which is located on my far left. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to pin it to my desktop. So I have the uh, one showing now. I'm going to minimize a few of these here. And what we're going to do is put a label on our form. There are two ways to put something on our form. I can drag it over like this. And I'm going to highlight that real quickly and delete it. Or I can double click on it. And I'm going to double click on label. And that will bring it in as well and then I can move it to the location I want. Right now we're going to start right about there with that label. It's called Label 1. Once again we want to change the name. So I come over to my component area and make certain Label 1 is shown up here. I'm going to go up first of all and go to the name property. I'm going to change the name from its default Label 1 to Welcome Label. And you'll notice as I rename objects or controls, I will pick a descriptive title for the prefix and the suffix area of the control name will usually be the name of the type of control I'm using. In this case, I'm using a label control. This is a new standard that is out there as a guideline for developing a code. Also notice, even though I haven't put a back color for this label, it inherited from the form the back color sky blue. 
also inherited the font size. For this particular one, though, I'm going to change the font size to a little bit more bolder type uh, and larger font size. So I'm going to click on font and click on the ellipsis and bring up the dialog box. And here I'm going to pick, uh, I'll stay with Sego UI, although I could change it to something else if I'd like. I'm going to go with bold on this one. In this case, I'm going to make the font size 18 points. 18 points is a pretty good size for a title area on a form. And you'll notice it has changed accordingly. Now for this particular one, I'm going to turn off the auto size mode on that so it doesn't automatically size. I'm going to have what's called sizing handles that I can change the sizes. So I'm going to double click on auto size or I could come over here and set it as true but double clicking is faster. We want to be productive. So I've turned auto size to false value on that. And then I want to come down to the label itself on the alignment of that label. And you'll see text alignment in the label can be set. And I'm going to change the text alignment. In this case, I'm going to hit the drop down on text alignment property and change it from the top left, which is the default, to middle center. Okay, now let's take a look at our form. We've got our sizing handles, and we don't even see the word label. Let me now grab the sizing handles, and we can start sizing our label. There we go. It's about there. I'm going to let go of it. And we've got our label location pretty well set. We'll adjust it as we get into the program. Now we need to give something other than just label uh, for our text title or uh, text property. So this one, since this is our, our first one, I'm going to say welcome to Visual Basic. Let's have fun! Exclamation point. And hit the tab key to tab out of that property. And you'll see that I've got my label up here. Now remember, a label is for output only, and we can use the label in a number of different ways, and I'll show you later on how I'll use a label that will look just like a text box, but it'll be for output only. Okay, I can come here and adjust it. Now, one of the things we can do, if I can't really see exactly where I want to have it, uh, I can click on it, have it highlighted, come up to the format on the menu bar. And I can drop down and say center on in form and center it horizontally. And that will give me perfectly uh, set. Also, I can change the sizing bars. If I were to squish it in, it would wrap around and maybe then I'd have to pull it down as well. So that looks pretty good. We've got our label with the text. Welcome to Visual Basic. Let's have fun. We've got our auto size to false. One last thing while I'm working with the label is as we make this form larger by maximizing the button, I want that to be kept in position. So I'm going to come up to the anchor uh, property on my properties. And you'll see right now top and left are the defaults, which means this has been anchored to the top of the form and to the left of the form. But as this thing grows, I also want to anchor it to the right of the form. So I'm going to hit the drop down. And you'll see I have a little window on the side. And I'm going to click on the right side as well. And then I'm going to click out of it. So I've got the auto size false. The anchor is left, top, and right. We're using a font of uh, Sego UI, 18-point style bold on that. And we've set our text alignment down at the bottom here to middle center on that. So we're really good with that. And always, I like to save all as I get to different sections of that. Okay, now for the fun part. We're going to bring in a picture box. And I'm going to come over here to our tools and pull the picture box over here and get it sort of positioned and release my mouse. And I'm going to take the sizing handle and sort of open it up and get an idea where I want to put it. And we'll adjust this in a little bit, but I want to basically get where I'm at on that. And so that gets me started with my picture box. Once again, the first thing I do is come over and rename my control on this. 
and this one we'll call the welcome picture box. Now, just for your own information, I don't name everything uh, by the name of our particular project. We'll have many different names we'll use, but we do put the suffix of the control uh, on there to make me aware of what control I'm working with. Okay, I'm going to tab out of that. I've got a name for my control now. Now, I can come over here and you'll see that I have an image area here that I can bring in an image uh, and other properties. But we also have on our form itself what's called a smart GIF. And we're going to uh, click on the smart GIF and we'll see that we can have choose image. And that's the first thing I'm going to do is choose an image. And I'm going to go out and import one into my project resource file. So I'm going to hit the import button. And I'm going to drill to the location where I have my images. So let me go back here. And I'm going to find my uh, particular ones. And in this case, I'm going to go to my library. I'm going to go to my Visual Basic Projects area where I have things grouped. And I'm going to find my icon or my picture that I want to bring in. In this case, I'm going to bring in Goofy Joe. There we go. Goofy Joe JPEG. And notice the image files can be a, a GIF file, a JPEG, uh, and also a bitmap file for this. Okay, I've got my uh, image brought in, Goofy Joe. And I'm going to click OK. Now, the picture itself is larger than my picture box. I could change my picture box to make it bigger, but there are other options. And so the size mode is one of the properties we can select. And I'm going to hit the drop down. And one is stretch image, which makes the image fit the picture box. The only problem is the aspect ratio shifts as well. So instead of stretch image, to keep the aspect ratio of the picture the same, I'm going to choose zoom. You'll also see there's some other options to, that I could select as well. So I'm going to click the zoom. And I'm going to uh, click out of it for a minute. And notice that my picture box now is actually bigger than my picture. Well, we'll take the sizing handles here and bring it in a little bit. There we go. We brought it in. Now I'm going to go to the center and move me a little bit more into the center. I'm going to quickly come up to the format, center form, center horizontal. And I'll have it right on the center of my form. I'm going to go a little bit bigger. That looks pretty good, for me at least. <laughs> and now I'm going to go once again to uh, center in form, center horizontal. on that. So I've got that all set. So we brought in the picture box. We have renamed the picture box, welcome picture box. We have brought in an image through the resource file. And once again, I can come over to the image property here as well as to the Smart and Cliff and bring in an image or change it. And I've set the size mode to zoom. I can set it here or I can set it up, set it in the Smart GIF area. Okay, we've got everything there we're ready to go. Uh, one of the things, lastly, I need to do is anchor it so that as the form would grow, this picture would stay in relationship to the sides of the form. So I'm going to come back up to the anchor area. And in this case, not only is it going to be top and left, I'm going to also make it right and bottom. So all sides are anchored. And I'm going to click outside of that and set it. So the anchor is set for all sides on that. Okay. Believe it or not, we have done everything at this point only by setting the properties of three controls. The Windows form, the label itself, and the picture box. We haven't written any code, but behind the scenes, Visual Studio being a rapid application development tool has written the code for us. Once again, let's do a save all at this point, make sure we have everything. 
Right now I'm in debug setting and I'm going to come up to the start button on the icon uh, to run debug. I could also go to the debug uh, option and run it from there as well. I'm going to go just to the icon area and hit start and let it run. It's compiling. We got a good compile and there is our program running on that. And if I hit the uh, full screen size, if I got everything anchored correctly, things should adjust accordingly. And they do. Oh boy, doesn't that look goofy? Yes, it does. <laughs> okay, so we can change things, get it adjusted, and make a simple little program like this. Now you're asking probably, well, that's that's fine, but that's not very much in terms of programming. But this is a start. Think of this particular project as maybe the beginning to a splash form that we might add to our opening of a program. We would change a parameter to take away the title bar area and we'd have a nice splash bar uh, for our project or a splash program for a project. Let me also show you something else. You can do a number of different things for this and I'm going to show you one that I've created. Uh, this one is a special one that I did that you'll see that I've adjusted the back color, changed the font style, and put my favorite beagle dog on as my picture box. If you have someone special in your life, maybe a friend, you might put something that's meaningful for your title area in here and put a picture of your friend or yourself in there with your friend on it. So you can do a lot of different things with this. This gets us started and We'll get ready for our next lesson coming up shortly. So get into, your, into the uh, code, have fun, and get your hands dirty. That's the whole point of it. We didn't have to get our hands too dirty for this one. No coding was required, but you got started, and that's the important thing. Next time, we'll talk about math. Ooh, yeah, math can be fun, too. And we'll talk about that. So come on back later and visit us again.